finding this out. Obama was trying to hide awful things that he did in the White House while in office. Recently something important was discovered. After finding out, Trump issued a warning to Barack Obama to get a good attorney. Jay Sekulow told what this mess is about. Democrats do not focus on their shady business at all and think they'll stay hidden forever. That is why they are so supportive of Mueller and his investigation. They hope he will find something on Trump but apparently, Mueller is going to be the one who will bang his head against a wall. Mueller is connected with James Comey. Comey is connected to Lynch, the Clintons, and Obama. Mad World News reports that Jay Sekulow just revealed damning evidence that incriminates Lynch and Obama in a massive cover-up. Jay's son, Jordan Sekulow, another powerful attorney like his father wrote, Our federal lawsuit against the Dodge bureaucracy over the secret meeting between former Attorney General Lynch and former President Clinton has already unearthed documents proving the FBI lied that it had no documents, that the media was colluding with the Obama Dodge to bury the story and that A.G. Lynch, a.k.a. Elizabeth Carlyle, was using a secret email address to conduct official business. Now we've uncovered that the White House was involved. So within two minutes of learning that the press had found out about the secret Clinton-Lynch meeting, senior Dodge officials knew they had a crisis on their hands. So, in short words, Comey lied like never before. Sekulow found out that they were all colluding to cover it up and it went straight to Obama's desk as the emails prove. But, this is not ending here. This story is very complicated and the new evidence suggests that Paige Herwig, who now is Diane Feinstein's right-hand woman, was working for Loretta Lynch during the meeting. She was the one who redacted all of Lynch's emails to cover up the real reason for the visit with Bill Clinton. She knows, and she is pretending to investigate. Jay told. The conflict of interest is astounding. Committee staff, Diane Feinstein, Paige Herwig, who are supposedly investigating this, tarmac, situation were the same people creating the talking points, Loretta Lynch, Paige Herwig, Dash Obama loyalists investigating themselves. Trump's reaction at this point? He said, yeah, Barack Obama better get a good attorney. We all are sick and tired of this nonsense. These people did multiple crimes and they need soon to pay for them. Let's all hope that the Dodge soon will open a special counsel to investigate the real traitors and enemies. Breaking President Trump sends in U.S. Navy While everyone is talking about North Korea and Trump's fire and fury for Pyongyang over its nuclear and missile programs, something else happened. On Thursday, Trump sent a U.S. Navy to sail by one of China's artificial islands in the South China Sea. Officially, our Navy conducted the third Freedom of Navigation operation under President Donald Trump in the South China Sea. Western journalism reports that a guided missile destroyer sailed within 12 nautical miles of Mischief Reef, an island that is a man-made one that has a runway and military fortifications. China has built it as a part of its effort to claim the region as its own. You should know that this destroyer is called John S. McCain and is named after the after the father and grandfather of Senator John McCain, R. Arizona both of them, huge Navy fans. As I said before this is the third time, Trump took action over this problem with China. All thanks to China in the first place due to increasing its military presence in the South China Sea. Also, a U.S. Navy P-8 reconnaissance plane flew nearby to monitor this whole operation. China has scrambled military forces for past challenges but did not this time. This behavior by the United States military is a show of force to promote the militarization in the region, and would very easily lead to accidents on the sea and in the air, Senior Colonel Ren Guogian said in an official statement. It has been said from one official that this was planned every single day for the past few weeks. Pentagon, on the other hand, promised to continue the challenges. Its spokesman Major Jamie Davis said in May, All operations are conducted in accordance with international law and demonstrate that the United States will fly, sail and operate wherever international law allows. We have a comprehensive Freedom of Navigation Operations program that seeks to challenge excessive maritime claims in order to preserve the rights, freedoms, and uses of the sea and airspace guaranteed to all nations under international law. 
federal judge confirms Hillary Clinton's worst nightmare, stuns D.C. with new ruling. Just when Hillary thought she was in the clear they are dragging her back to face justice. Sorry Hillary you can try but you will not outrun your past. There are too many crimes littered about for you to make a clean break. Advertisement, according to Politico nine months after Hillary lost an epic presidential election, a federal judge is ordering the State Department to go finally find all the emails Hillary Clinton wrote about the Benghazi debacle. What, do you think Obama's State Department actually looked for Hillary's emails? Not according to the annoyed Obama-appointed judge. U.S. District Court Judge Amit made a rule that the State Department had not done enough to try to track down Hillary's emails related to the assault on the U.S. diplomatic compound in Benghazi, Libya. The tragic attack killed four Americans including the U.S. ambassador to Libya. To date, State has searched only data compilations originating from outside sources, Secretary Clinton, her former aides, and the FBI. It has not, however, Search tape the one record system over which it has always had control and that is almost certain to contain some responsive records, the state.gov email server, Judge Amit Mehta wrote in his a ruling that literally stunned Washington, D.C. insiders. If Secretary Clinton sent an email about Benghazi to Abe, Mills, or Sullivan at his or her state.gov email address, or if one of them sent an email to Secretary Clinton using his or her state.gov account, then State's server presumably would have captured and stored such an email. Therefore, State has an obligation to search its own server for responsive records, continued the Barack Obama-appointed judge. You know it is bad when the Democrats won't cover for you anymore. Look these guys have to worry about their careers and their reputations. Without official cover from a Democratic administration they are exposed and could easily be considered co-conspirators. A Justice Department spokesman said ominously, We are reviewing the judge's opinion and order. Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton, who sued for the records, released a statement saying, Advertisement, this major court ruling may finally result in more answers about the Benghazi scandal, and Hillary Clinton's involvement in it, as we approach the attack's fifth anniversary. Queen Elizabeth makes heartbreaking announcement about royal family's future. Queen Elizabeth just shocked the world with her official announcement about who will take her place as King and Queen of England and Prince Charles is not happy. Because he's been passed over, cut from the line of succession. He will not be King the Queen just announced and instead his oldest son William and his bride Kate will be the next King and Queen of England. Advertisement, wow this is a bit of a shocker. Passing over her own son as Queen Elizabeth officially announces she will pass down her crown to her grandson Prince William and his wife Kate Middleton has got to sting a little bit. Prince Charles is officially out in the British monarchy's line of succession. Her Majesty realized that William and Kate are the future, said a palace insider. She has spent 65 years making sure that the House of Windsor survives and she sees William and Kate as having the energy and star quality to do the job in a modern world. Queen Elizabeth will always do what is best for the long-term health of the monarchy. Another well-placed source said, with all the drama that has surrounded the royal family over recent decades, Elizabeth realizes the monarchy no longer has the respect and power it once had, another source said. In her eyes, William and Kate are the two people who can turn that around. It is a heartbreaking decision for Prince Charles according to Palace Insiders, things have been a bit strained between William and his father since the Queen's decision. But they are slowly getting used to it. Charles' wife of 12 years, Camilla Parker Bowles, however is said to be happy with the decision because she has had enough of the spotlight for one lifetime. Advertisement, but it is all a moot point for now as one source said, it's well known that the Queen will never abdicate the throne and at 91, she is in great health. She intends to live to at least 100. Justin Bill and Hillary Clinton caught in a huge $5 billion North Korea scandal. Tensions between North Korea and the United States rise every day. North Korea is planning to attack Guam, which is U.S. territory in the western Pacific Ocean. The North Korean leader Kim Jong-un promised to launch a missile that will hit Guam. 
As a response to the threat, the U.S. President Donald Trump said that North Korea will meet fire and fury if the country continues to threaten the USA. Although the whole world has their eyes on North Korea right now, only a few people know that Kim Jong-un owns missiles thanks to the Clinton family. The New York Post reported, as President Clinton prepared to confront North Korea in 1994, ex-president and self-appointed peacemaker Carter went to Pyongyang to negotiate a sellout deal, give the North Koreans two new nuclear reactors and $5 billion in aid if they promised to quit seeking nuclear weapons. Carter even won a Nobel Peace Prize for this deal. How ironic! The former president even celebrated his achievement. However, thanks to him, North Korea has missiles ready to attack our country. It is just a matter of time when the first missile will be launched. What was he thinking? The North Korean leader is similar with the German dictator Adolf Hitler. Kim Jong-un is also a dictator who rules his country by paranoia. If the Chamberlain's appeasement policy didn't stop Hitler from wanting for more power, why would something similar work for Kim Jong-un? However, Clinton's and Carter thought that an appeasement can change things now. The New York Post reported, in 2002, the North Koreans revealed that they had been violating the accord from day one. Four years later, Pyongyang detonated its first nuclear missile. After it was discovered that North Korea violated the accord, something should have been done in order to stop them, but the Clintons and the Obama administration decided not to do anything. Thanks to their poor efforts, North Korea can launch a missile attack against our country. They put the population of Guam at potential risk. Everyone should know that if they launch a missile, it won't be Trump's fault, but Obama, Clinton, and Carter are to blame. Trump is doing everything he can in order to protect our country. Former Navy SEAL promises big consequences if liberals follow through on threat against Trump. A very important warning was issued on Facebook. This post is going viral because the former Navy SEAL who wrote it tells the truth. The truth about the consequences that may happen if someone tries to remove President Trump from office. We all know by now how the liberals are trying to remove Trump from office. Their effort is getting out of hand. But, according to our Constitution, Congress can only remove a sitting president for his inability to recognize that the Constitution itself, Trump so far, is preserving, protecting and defending us from the multiple threats that we receive. Unlike Obama, who did nothing for eight years and was left ruling because he was protected by the fact that he is the first black president. Here is what this man wrote, let's not forget how the liberals are lately mentioning the Trump rhetoric. Due to it, they think that this calling is a result out of it. They simply cannot accept the fact that they lost due to the same man they praise for and his experiments. They need to understand that the last thing we actually want is war. But, they also need to understand that in a case like this where threats are floating something bigger needs to happen. Obama hurt us for eight years and his time is over. I agree with everything that this man said and I support Trump in everything he decides to do.